Hello everybody. So yesterday I saw Panda4994 having trouble to get a one game tick delay for a uh, red sand converter. So yeah, it's not that easy to make a uh, one game tick delay because uh, repeaters uh, have a two game tick delay. It's the same with comparators. And with pistons you can either make something instant or happen after two game ticks or three game ticks. Um, yeah, that's... Um, the easiest way to get a one tick delay is using the fact that a repeater has uh, only one game tick delay if you power it from a user input like a button. So I have a Cubitech stick speed mod installed, uh, yeah, so you can uh, check. So look at the right, the server ticks. And yeah, let's slow it down a little bit more, so it's now 40 times slower. And if I would press this button, you can see the first piston extracting at 51, and then at 52, the second one. So we use the fact that a repeater only has a one game tick delay from a user input. But that wouldn't work if we would use um, a repeater in front. So basically this repeater now has uh, one game tick delay, and this one has uh, two as usual. So let's slow it down again. And now you can see the first one at 83 and then at 85 the second one. So now we have two game ticks delay. Okay, uh, so if you have something automatic without a user input, um, yeah, what could you do? So there's a method to get a one game tick difference um, by using the fact that a piston reacts on being powered by a, another uh, piston uh, pushing a redstone block uh, next to it that uh, takes three game ticks to uh, yeah until the redstone dust is turned on and other pistons could react to that but um, so if you would have a repeater here so now this repeater uh, would turn on after two game ticks. So yeah, in total you have two game ticks delay here and another two here. And if you want a game tick difference with repeaters, then you can uh, use an instant repeater that would normalize the uh, game tick difference. So on this side um, we have the repeater as an input, then we have two game ticks delay here, and on this side we have the two game ticks delay here with the redstone block at the piston, and that's normalized by the uh, redstone uh, by, the, by the instant repeater. So we have in total three game ticks of delay. And yeah, let's slow it down again. Push the button. And now it's, we don't even need that, now it's visual. So the first repeater will turn on. And before the second turn on, uh, this one turn on. So there's always a game tick delay now in between. So that, that's way to get, get a one game tick difference uh, with repeaters, for example. Um, yeah, if you would use a piston, let's also show that, then you don't need that stuff here. So let's power a piston. Okay, yeah, the str struggle here. Okay, so now I can see there's also a game tick delay between. So this piston first, and this one have one game tick difference, but it uh, only works because we power the piston directly. Uh, you could also use redstone dust. So let's also see what happens if you would use a repeater. So now we have four game ticks here and also four game ticks here. Turn on at the same time. Okay, back to our initial problem. What if we want a one game tick delay and we don't have a user input? So we can't use repeaters or pistons because they always have a two or three game tick delay. So we have to do something different. And we can use the fact that the position of an entity is are uh, only updated at the beginning of each uh, game tick. So by pushing an armor stand into a tripwire, we get a one game tick delay. 
So this piston extends and one game tick later uh, this piston will extend. So let's see it. Uh, let's use tick speed mode again. So on the right look at the server ticks. So at 20 this turns on and at 21 this one. But it's the same problem with the uh, user input. So basically an ARM stand is like a user input. A repeater would have a uh, one, one uh, game tick of delay. So both these repeaters would turn on at the same time. Okay, then and, and you can use the same trick again with the instant repeater. So let's quickly build one. So now push the button and you can see that and this repeater turns on and this one... Oh, I forgot the red still does, sorry about that. Okay, let's try. Okay, now this turns on and this, this, this. So one game, game tick of delay in between those. And so this is a way to get uh, one game tick of delay, uh, even with repeaters. Uh, the downside of this is that it has quite a cooldown, so if you need something fast, then uh, it has a big cooldown because the armor stand has to fall down. The tripwire also has 10 game ticks of cooldown, so yeah, it takes a while. Um, I made some one that it's a little bit faster, so you could also uh, push an armor stand onto a pressure plate and push the armor stand back again. Um, this has, I think, 11 game ticks of cooldown. Um, so, oh, okay, I tried one. So let's slow it down. So it's the same thing again. And yeah, pushed over. And now this turns on. This, so one game tick difference in between. Yeah, and uh, golden pressure plates also have 10 game ticks cooldown. So you get a. Uh, 11 game tick signal uh, on this side. So yeah, I think if we would activate this one again of the uh, 12 game ticks, then we could have a, a game tick difference every 12 game ticks. So if you need something really fast, you would need more of those uh, contraptions uh, and an instant T flip flop. Uh, but it's getting complicated. So with my tree farms, I was a, f a few times. Uh, before the problem that I would need a one game tick signal uh, with a repeater, one game tick difference with a repeater in front because I wanted to use the update order by using comparators and repeaters, but so far I could uh, avoid using a, a complicated contraption like this. Um, yeah, it would be nice if there would be something that with, a, with less cooldown, maybe something easier. I'm not aware of something. Maybe you have an idea, uh, just uh, yeah, post it in the comment section if you have a better idea to get a one game tick difference. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a good day and goodbye.